right, folks, this is my first video of a little project I got going on here. This is just your run-of-the-mill sports power battery charger. As you can see, I got it plugged in right now, charging up some deep cycle batteries. And I'm per pretty much pulling a good, good uh, amount of current to charge these, which is kind of important because what I want to do is I want to try to hook this thing up in my RV. So I thought I'd give it a test run right here in my garage. So as you see, I'm, I'd run the cord along and it is currently charging these batteries. These are four 12 volt. Let me spin this thing around here. Trojan T 1275 batteries. As you can see, I have them cabled up with number two off the shelf battery connector term or um, cables right off of the, the shelf at a local automotive store. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Nothing too expensive, but this is just a test. And then I have two cables made up into an inverter, okay? And what I've got, it's a relatively uh, inexpensive inverter for the size. As you can see, it's a 12 volt PW6000. That means 6,000 watts, which is pretty good. Very powerful with a 12,000 watt peak surge. Okay, uh, the manufacturer of this unit here is Power Bright. As you can see, I do have it turned on. Okay, as I come around the other side, okay, what I have plugged in here, I have four outlets on this beast. Okay. And currently, I have these lights on right here. I'll just give you a little bit of look here. Just a strand of lights. They are pulling 35 watts. This thing is not even hurting this beast. Okay? And what I was trying to do is see what I can do about running this inverter in my camper. All right? So, of course, being a camper... I love coffee. So I have a coffee pot plugged into it. Now, as I bend down and switch that coffee pot on, you're going to see that this beast can handle it. Okay, we just jumped up to 735. So I'm brewing coffee as I make this video. And then up here, of course, on this stand plugged in is a nice... 12 and a half inch portable planer by Grizzly. I like Grizzly. Grizzly's kind of good stuff. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and while the lights are on, the coffee is making, I'm going to turn this beast on. As you can see, I'm getting ready to flip the switch. I put the old current running thing here and ready to go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's going. And it settles right down. Coffee's still making. Lights are on. Really doing a good job of running all of this equipment. I want to check if 
that cable. As I feel these cables, nothing is getting warm. Very nice. Very nice. Doing a good job. In my camper, I will probably never use this much wattage unless, of course, I'm running my air conditioner, which is a pretty good size air conditioner. So we're going to go ahead and unplug all of this stuff just there. Now we're down to zero amps. Like I said, that is pretty awesome setup for my 6,000 watt inverter. Thank you very much for watching this.